Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so my thought with the hero section was to um, have a really big opening feeling. Uh, so furniture for living. I think a lot of minimalism and successful minimalist design comes down to playing with scale. So really big type and really small type. Um, I also tried to keep the typography throughout the page to one or two weights so that everything felt very neutral. Like we're not doing a lot of contrast with the actual weight of the fonts. Mm -hmm. um, moving down to explore by collection, I wanted the primary focus for uh, collections and like general imagery to be on in situ photography. Um, so the copy for these didn't get to that, but um, different collections for different rooms. As we scroll down further, I think um, another really nice aspect of a lot of minimalist design is letting um, imagery be the hero of multiple sections in a page. So not just the hero section, but having breaks of content throughout. So pulled that with the headline Home for Cozy and then took this very stripped back approach to actual product, um, uh, like a grid layout for product listing. Um, I made my own little product for this last one because I ran out of isolated images, but we do what we can. Um, and then treating the testimonial section in a way that it's not so much a focus on um, the person who's saying uh, the nice things about the furniture company, but about the furniture itself. So like, what did they say and what piece of furniture was it about? So I wanted to pair those two pieces together and then ending the page just with a really big, bold um, logo in the footer, keeping it very, very minimal. Uh, um, and perhaps we have a sticky note to have um, those links at the bottom again. Okay, That's nice. It. Fantastic. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. If you'd like to see more RDL action, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, check out more videos over here. Thanks.